All right, let's have a look here. Wait till some people come on. It's New Year's Day. No one's watching yet. Here we go. Kirsten D joined. How you doing? Nice to see you here. Uh, Dart Touchdown joined. This is my mate Mark. What's up, Kirsten D? Spenny. What's going on? Spenny O joined. How you doing? We're just about to go through New Year's resolutions. We're here in New York City. This is my New York City apartment. Happy New Year to you, Kirsten D and Dart Touchdown. Uh, this is, can anyone tell me which part of New York City this is right now? I'm going to give you a shout out if you tell me, if you get it correct. Tell me which part of New York City, which neighborhood we're looking at right now down there and I will give you a shout out. Take a guess. Take a guess. Take a guess. No guesses. Long Island, incorrect uh, touchdown, but not a bad idea, huh? not, a, not a bad effort, but huh? no. Kirsten D says Brooklyn, nope, nope, it's not Brooklyn, keep trying, here we go again. How many people do we have? We've got four at the moment. We should just tell them because two of them are so far away. <laughs> we're just going to kill them. Arena Talon Overjoined, how you doing? Now listen, I'm going to tell you in a second, but in the meantime, um, please touch the screen and retweet this out to your uh, Twitter followers now. And if you do that, I'm going to give you a big shout out and thank you personally. And I'm going to answer your question personally. So before we begin, I'm going to tell you my news resolution. Mark's going to tell you his news resolution. I'm going to get your news resolution. Hit the screen and retweet and invite followers right now. Dart Touchdown just did it. Boom. Thank you for sharing on Twitter, <laughs> Dart Touchdown. I love it. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. Uh, if you're watching this right now, just put your finger on the screen, okay, and then and then retweet it out to people. Just go bang, retweet. Who else is going to do it? Come on, got to do more. We got to do <laughs> Come more. Come on, we got to do more. Come on, Come on now. Come on, do it. <laughs> uh, this is what this is my apartment in New York City. Um, it's a little bit messy because we've been talking and stuff. Kirsten D joined again. This is the Lower East Side. Okay, well that's actually the East Village. But where I am down there, that's the East Village there, and on this side where I am is the Lower East Side. Uh, so that's the answer. Mark, what is your New Year's resolution? Or New Year's resolutions? I have a lot. I'm going to set up a daily phone call with my parents, or a weekly phone call, where I pose a deep question that we'll dive into so I really get to connect with them better. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I have these like really surface... Oh, nice retweet. Kirsten D. Shea. Kirsten Thank D. you. Kirsten for... D. Well done. Kirsten I don't know about you guys. Do you have these surface conversations with your parents or loved ones? Like you love them so much, but sometimes just this time passes and you, you're just talking about your day and work and you never really peel the onion on what really matters to you as a human being. I find that happens a lot with my parents. So one of my New Year's resolutions is to set up a weekly call with them where we dive really deep on a certain question and I get to hear their like opinions and thoughts on things. And that's one. What about you, James? What's one of yours? That's a good one, by the way. So, you, so you're trying to avoid trivial conversations. Trying with... to avoid trivial conversations with my parents and really getting to know them better. I, I did that once. I asked them what their favorite childhood memory was. Yeah. And I told them mine, and it just opened up this like really beautiful combo between us. So I'm like, oh, we should do that weekly. I just find one good question a week, mm. and we'll we'll jump in. And I think I'll get to know my parents in a new way. Mm. So that's awesome, man. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Um, I uh, I have a few New Year's resolutions, but one of them is to really have a fantastic, amazing relationship with uh, a woman or women. Could be women, maybe plural. Uh, but really, maybe it, Kristen D. But, <laughs> Kristen D. But really, it's <laughs> but really it's just it's just it's more like um, I want to focus on having deep, a deep, meaningful relationship with someone. Um, uh, it doesn't just have to be a woman. It can be with like you know uh, colleagues or acquaintances or my family. I just want to have deep, uh, meaningful relationships, and if that includes the romantic one, then terrific. Uh, Kirsten D's married. What a Kirsten shame! Shit. Damn. Hemendoza eighty eight from Ecuador. Hola, cómo estás? Uh, estoy viviendo en Nueva York en este momento, pero he estado viviendo entre uh, Bogotá y Medellín, Colombia y los Estados Unidos por los últimos dos años. ¿Dónde estás en este momento? Um, so, uh, if you're just joining for the first time, we're talking about New Year's resolutions. Marx is to get, have a deeper relationship with his parents. A mine is to have a deeper relationship with people in, in, in general. Alex Weston from Ukraine and Ohio. What's up? Do you notice that both of those things, okay, um, uh, uh, it, uh, it is all about getting more connected with people? Do you notice that? So he wants to talk to his family more and, and have a deeper conversation with his parents. And I want to have deeper conversations with people because in life, human beings want connection, right? We want to feel Jeez. connected. Do you know... 
All right, so has anybody here studied blue zones? Do you know what that is? It's the areas that people study that where people live the longest, mm -hmm. right? And one thing that shocked me about these studies, that it's these areas that have, have the most people that live to 100. And what they found is, is that you'd think that they'd have like really good physical... Around this way, yeah. They'd have some really good like physical habits, good diet, good exercise and things like that. And that's true. Like these places, a lot of what they have in common is is they eat small meals and they generally eat a lot of seafood and vegetables and stuff like that. Yeah. But one of the biggest things they found in all these societies where people live the longest is they're connected as they get older. Mm. And people often discount the, um, the thing that connection plays in our lives, like mm. how it affects our health, how it affects everything. Mm. It's like such an important thing. So I don't think it's a coincidence that we're talking yeah. about that right now. And you know what? We were just going over. I was showing Mark my, um, my notes here from a book uh, called Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. And you can see my name there. I actually type out these, uh, the best parts of the book. And I give them to you free if you go to jameswarnick.com and put your email address in there. I'll actually send you my notes from this book, Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. And also uh, this book here, which is uh, Winning with People by John C. Maxwell. Um, let's see what he says here. One of the most important things you will do is choose your friends. Positive people with good character lift you up. Negative people with poor character pull you down. The people you are closest to will shape who you are. So if you want to get all of those notes and learn how to win with people, go to jameswanick.com and put your email address in there and I'll send that to you. This man is a wealth of knowledge. Thank Seriously, you. Seriously, he's a fountain of knowledge, Thank an you. Aussie fountain of, <laughs> uh, of smart shit. You can <laughs> Thank you. Can we curse on here? Yeah, you can. Okay, John Bayer says, I'm giving up alcohol for at least 30 days. Thanks for the inspiration. Yeah. You are so welcome. Vlada, two million says, hi from Russia. Got someone from Russia, dude. Hey, girl. How What's you doing? On? How you doing? Now listen, if you're watching us for the first time, please press the screen and retweet this to your followers right now so we can share this. And if you share it with your followers right now, I will give you a big shout out and I'll answer your question. So Vlada20000, hit the screen, pull down and then and, and share it. And uh, I'm gonna I can see you if when you share you... I'm gonna kiss give I'm gonna give James a smooch, but on the cheek. <laughs> no tongue. Shannon girl, how you doing? Good to see you here. We're talking about New Year's resolutions. What's your New Year's resolution for your health this year? For your physical health? I don't know. Have you guys ever heard of something called cryotherapy? You get in this chamber and they blast you with this really cold nitrous oxide. Um, it helps I have a bad back and it helps my back in a massive way. So what I wanna do is I wanna do it. Reg more regularly than I already do ahead of time. Now I go in, I hurt my back, I go in and I do it. I want to book it ahead of time, so I'm always staying on top of my game. Cry highly recommend cryotherapy, it's amazing. Okay, I've done cryotherapy as well. You go in there, it's kind of cold. In fact, if you want to see a video of me doing cryotherapy or you want to see a uh, little 15 second video, go to my Instagram at James Swanick and um, you can uh, see me in the cryotherapy from about two months ago. So go back to my Instagram at James Swanick and from Two months ago, you can see me doing cryotherapy. My name is Vladislava. She said, do you like Russian girls? Um, not really, to be honest. <laughs> I don't, but, I'm yeah, sorry, I'm, Vladislava. I'm open, I'm open, but just generally speaking, I'm more of like a Latin American, you know, girl, but you know, nothing personal, I'm sure you're lovely. <laughs> this is like a dating app for Periscope now, isn't it? Siba is all I know. Poor old Kirsten doesn't, is married, so she doesn't get, get to enjoy the company as it's well. Yeah. What are some of your guys' resolutions? What are, what are you yeah, guys what's your resolution? Kirsten D, what's your resolution? Vladislava, uh, what's your resolution? Hello from Turkey. How you doing? Nice to see you here. We're what's up? Welcome. We're, we're hanging out here in New York City. This is the Lower East Side. Kirsten D says she has 16 New Year's resolutions. Well, well just give us give one. Give us one. Give us one. This is New York City. Give us your most important one. NYC. Whoa, let's have a look. Do we see some people down there? There we go. There's some people walking. Yeah, it's all happening. Um, okay, New Year's resolutions. Type out your New Year's resolution right now. Mark and I are going to comment on them. Tell them, tell you, we're going to give you a score out of 10. We're going to rate your New Year's resolution. <laughs> <laughs> so type in your New Year's resolution now. Uh, my business res uh, resolution is to uh, sell a, a, a lot more of these Swannies blue. Well, can you open these for me, just slowly? These are my Swannies blue blocking glasses. If you grab them on Amazon, uh, oh yeah, you're just nice and gentle because I've got to still got to give those to people. There we go. Um, and you wear them; they block out the blue light from uh, computer screens and cell phones and laptops. Look at that, beautiful. 
And I'm, um, ah. we sold out of them, actually. We sold oh. out in the first... Yeah, there's my brand, Swanwick. And then you open them up. And uh, there we go. You don't need to pull them out of the wrapper, cause, but mm. you can just show them there. There they are. Oh, yeah. Orange lens, which blocks the blue light, the dangerous blue light. You wear these things. They're very stylish. I've got, an, uh, I've got another pair of them here, actually. Let's have a look a bit. Here's a pair. Um... If you go to bit.ly.com forward slash swannies. In fact, can you can you hold that for me, mate? You just talk in there. I'm going to write this down. I'm going to write the actual... You want me to say something? Yeah, go on. Um... <laughs> hey, world. What's going on? I'm in New York City with my buddy James, and life is good. What makes you guys happy? Let me hear. What are some things that make you happy, aside from James Swanick? Women and drinking. <laughs> so this is the link here, okay? Bitly.com forward slash swannies. Is that back the front as you're seeing that or are you seeing that the way it is? Like, is that... Is I think it, they're seeing it back the front. Are you seeing it back the front or are you seeing that like... I can never tell. Like, is, is the words on my on my shirt here... It's got to be back the way proper or is yeah. it back the front? I think it's back the front. Is it back the front? Can you tell me if you're watching this right now, is are these words back the front or are they normal? Oh, it's proper. Cool. Awesome. All right. Really? So there's the link. Wow. Bitly.com forward slash swannies. Um, now, we sold out of them about a week ago, but you can you can buy them now and we'll deliver them to you in the first or second week of, week of February. So you do have to wait five weeks. They were so popular that we sold out and we're just waiting for the next shipment to come in. Um, but they blocked the blue light. So do you know why blue light is dangerous, Mark? No. Okay. So... Um, at night time, you're supposed to, when the sun goes down, you're supposed to not be in light. But since the invention of the light bulb, we're, all, we're living in this artificial light, so our body thinks it's still night time, which means we don't create melatonin, and melatonin is what helps us sleep. And so because we're living in this artificial light, look, there's an example, there's artificial light, look, there's the light up there, then plus the light from my cell phone, and look, the light from my computer. Let me just do this. And this computer screen and any electronic display is emitting blue light, right? So the screen that's coming in. So what it's doing is, is that it's telling you that it's daytime even though it's nighttime. So what happens is, is that it's almost like taking a cup of coffee before you go to sleep. It's like you drink coffee and then you, you're kind of like active and it's hard to sleep. When you look at blue light from a cell phone or a computer or you're in light, your body thinks it's daytime, which means it hasn't started to create melatonin, which means you don't fall asleep as easily or your sleep is not as good. So what these blue blocking glasses do is that they eliminate blue light. Now let's find some blue here somewhere and I'll, I'll, I'll show how, I'll, I'll give you the view where there's no blue. Is it blue? Can you grab that blender bottle for me please, Mark, for a second? Okay, I'm gonna show you here. So these are blue blockers, right? So you wear these, and now we've got a blue, we've got a blue container here. See? It's actually it's blue. Now look, now look at how this is gonna block the blue. Look, there's no blue there. Let's just do it over this way a little bit more. See, there you go. It's blocking the blue light. There's no longer any blue. It's taking out the blue. Can I stand on this way? There we go. So there's the blue, and then we put this over, and there's no more blue. Okay? So it blocks blue light completely, which comes out from the screen, which comes out from your cell phone, which comes out from your laptop. It helps you sleep. When you sleep better, you lose weight, your metabolism's the way it is, your hormones are in check, you wake up with cl uh, clear thought, vision, focus. When you have vision and focus, you make more money, you're happier. When you're happier, you attract happy people into your life. When you attract happier people into your life, you become happier. And when you're happier, you become healthier. When you're healthier, you become more attractive. And when you're more attractive, you attract better people into your life, and so forth. It just keeps going on and on and on. All because you sleep, you're sleeping the way that nature intended. So if you want to grab a pair of those, you can pre-order them at bit.ly.com forward slash swannies, or if you go to swanwicksleep.com, um, I'll send you a free book on seven ways to improve your sleep. Hope that helps. All right, we're going to head off now. Uh, Mark's got to go. He's got to go and write down his goals. Thanks for being here, Mark. Good to meet everybody. Thank you for being here as well. I enjoyed this talk from New York City. Have a great New Year's Day. And I will catch you on the next one. See ya.